Hello, I am God of Gold. I am a Hearts of Iron 4 modder and the mod leader of the EOB mod, which stands for Era of Britannia uh, 1900. I am on a lot of servers like the Plaza, the Modding Den, you get the picture. Um, four to be exact, but that's not why I'm here to talk. I'm here to talk about coding. Now, when it comes to coding, um, it basically is, it can be a trigger for events. It has modifiers. You have to put pictures of it, like almost like a sprite. Um, it can, some parts of it are a little strange, but I'll give you a good rundown. Now, let's start with ideas. Let's, well, I'll do events uh, maybe in another video, okay? All right. So, in this, in this tutorial, we will be, we will be discussing uh, ideas. For example, you see this population's idea? Don't worry about this. All this up here, ignore this. These are the British ideas for the mod. I'm just giving you an example. So... Down here, these are population ideas. Population growth increase. There are four variants of this idea. For example, you can have increase, steady, stagnant, or decline. All of these determine how much population or extra manpower you could gain per weekly time. For example, as you see, monthly power, uh, I shouldn't say weekly, but because it, it says right down here, it's basically monthly po population. Now, keep in mind, the reason why there's a decimal here is because it follows a certain and specific line of coding. It can't just be like, oh, you can put 100 million. You can't do that. If you do that, it could make the country... OP. I've done this plenty of times to understand, yes, this actually happens. Like, for example, if I go to ideas, here's the population ideas. There are each individual segments under the same topic. Population ideas, increase, steady, stagnation, decrease. Basically, like I mentioned, these determine how much effective these work. For example, some may have good modifiers, some may have bad ones, depending on where you stand. Now, now that I explain that, let me talk very quickly. Okay, so the picture itself, right here. The picture is what determines the idea logo. Once the logo is installed, uh, sadly, Unfortunately, I don't have that on me right now. However, I do have other icons. But you basically, if you've seen icons like this before, you can probably get a little bit of an understanding. But basically how it works is, once you select the picture of this, it has to also be in here. Interface ideas. It has to be a .dds. In order to be properly registered as a transparent background sprite. Because it involves in clip art making, basically. If any of you are familiar with clip art, you could know. If not, uh, I could maybe explain that also in another video. Or you can just look it up, whichever you prefer. But basically, the way that this mod works is that in order... In order to get this picture, it has to match, basically. You have to match it along with it. For example, if I just copy this, right? And I put this right here. You could do that. Or you could put GFX. What the GFX does is that adds on to the ID, which will bring up the interface here. I'll, I'll just show you. So basically, you do this. You keep it at that, but you don't put it here. Why is that? I'll show you. 
So the interface folder contains all of the GFX that you will need. Like for example, ideas, I know again, it's not here, but if you take a closer look on certain parts, you can see it says GFX underscore at the beginning of each of these. Then it has the image file listed down here with the texture file path. That makes sense because without this, it would not show up. It could either show up blank or with a question mark. That's how it works. On the other note, uh, ideas, okay, modifiers are pretty simple. There are a whole list of modifiers you can use for the game and to enhance, you know, the experience. For example, political power. That shows how much political power you're gaining every single week but again not all of them follow a single number some do i'm not gonna lie but most of them follow a decimal so for example if i put this as like say 20 or something that's going to increase the political power gain way too much and that will make the country way too op uh, and they could probably take over a lot. Well, I would say that, but basically they'll have a lot of power. Let me show you something. So if I go up here to modifiers, now this is a page. You could go to this. It's on hoi4.paradoxwikis.com slash modifiers. You see that up there. These are all of the modifiers listed. These are all the things that you will need. For example, you could do ideology drift. Now, here, let me explain this one very quickly. Ideology, ideology drift is what describes the party's growth in, see, look, modify towards the specified ideology. For example, if you were to do something along the lines of communist, communist drift, this will cause that country if it has this modifier whether if it's inside of a country leader trait or an idea this will happen for example you don't do oh and also i forgot to mention don't do this when in terms of that because that is for localization you don't want to do that it could cause problems do space equal space and then the modifier amount. For example, we want the communist drift to go by this. It's going to grow by 0 0.05 each day as long as this modifier is there. Now keep in mind it may fluctuate throughout the game. I don't completely know how that works but basically as you gain popularity this starts to slow down. It could lower to something like this. So, what I would do, if you really want to avoid that, try this without overpowering it. Because if you do something like that, that will make the party instantaneously just go up. Make sense? Okay. Now, I covered some of the basics. I think what I'm going to do is... um. How about triggers? So let's talk quickly about triggers of ideas and stuff. Now, you're famil some of you may be familiar with stuff like, um, of course, hey, there's the name. But keep in mind, the name right here, actually, I'll get to triggers after. But basically, do you see where it says population growth increase? This is where the title goes. Now, keep in mind, this itself is not the title. What do you need for it? You need the localization. Where do you get it? In the localization file. You can go to ideas. Right down here. You list all of the stuff that's been going on in terms of influence, like drifting, uh, British Parliament. Some of this is, yes, it's incomplete. But I'm just giving you an example, so please don't cut at my throat, please. <laughs> Anyways. For example... Let's add population ideas, shall we? Now, this is just an example, but I will use this in the mod because it's not in here, which is perfect for me to describe this. So, for example, 
Population growth increase. Population growth steady. Then I just add the rest in. As usual. Because once you add this in, and if you have that idea, add the modifiers with that idea installed, that's when things start changing. For example, you could do this. That would also help you in terms of making how it works. So let's say we want to call, this is the title, okay? If you want to add a description, I should quickly mention, put underscore desk. Like basically you copy this and then just do this. That's the description. That's the title. That's how it works. Also, when you're making this, this in the format, you should always remember one thing. You should not use equals here. That's for the modifiers. That's for the coding. This is localization. Completely different from coding. This is where the text is stored. Like, for example, I can put lore on here and then put it for each country. That's up to you. Uh, you can look it up if you want. I'll explain that. I'll explain localization in depth, I think, either in the next few videos. Okay, don't don't fret right now. Just we'll figure this out. Okay, so for example, these are the titles. There's no description here because I didn't put underscore desk. Now, if I did, you would see something like this. Okay, now what you can do is population, or you could just put growing population. Now, if you want to do something else. For right here steady steady population and then so on and so forth now of course keep in mind this is just the description well no not description the titles sorry the titles have scripts in themselves the descriptions do as well but title and description two separate segments of localization do each of them separate. Do the right format, like, uh, for example, this. At the end of each of these underscore words, put this right here. So it's basically the dots, zero, space, quotation. What that does is it tells the game specifically that this is the idea's text. It ha matches the ID, and that's the other important factor. It has to match the ID. For example, population growth increase right here. If I was to change this in any way, shape, or form, I would have to do it for here. Otherwise, it would not show. So that covers that part. Now, if say if you wanted to add a description, again, do this. And say you wanted to do something along the lines of this country's population is declining something like that you could do that for each and every one of them all you gotta do put it right below that or you can put it anywhere near it or you you don't have to put this actually if in fact the description can be optional how why do I say that is because the description it doesn't affect the coding itself, it doesn't affect aspects of um, the idea itself, basically. It's just script, it's just text, it is nothing more than that. So, for example, if I just do this for every description, you see this underscore desk, this is the title right here. This is the description, like you, like I showed you. That's in case if anybody was having a little trouble. But basically how it works, it, it's very straightforward in terms of localization. In fact, compared to coding, localization is way easier. Granted, it can be a lot of typing. As you can see, I'm getting ready for more ideas to be added. However, in the end, it should work. 
Also, I will be featuring Landlocked Country uh, as an idea as well, but that's only for countries that have no access to ports. Makes sense? Okay. Now, I pretty much... Actually, in turn, I think I just covered the basic foundational parts of, let's say, localization. What I mean by also up here, it says WIP, WIP. That means work in progress, as a bunch of you may know. Because there's not a lot here at the moment, but I am getting ready for it. Now, the influence factor, this that's an entirely different story. I'll go over as much of these as possible um, in another video. But I only wanted to cover the basics on, like, coding. Now, before I leave, uh, these aren't... I guess you could call these triggers, but basically they're prerequisites. For example, uh, always equals no. Uh, it depends on whether or not it can fire in that country. Like, for example, if I just go to a random, I don't know, event... Actually, no, not an event. Um, let's see. Let me try generic. Well, it doesn't have it here. But basically, these in the middle, these are where the triggers can go. But keep in mind, not all ideas will have them. Each idea has its own set for the script. It doesn't do the same format as you would do in localization. No. It's... It's a little complex, but I got used to it pretty quickly, um, and I hope this video did clear some things up. I may try to explain more. Um, again, I hope I showed as much as possible. Some may be confused, some want to learn. Um, this is why I made this video, just to show you what happens what happens to the coding what happens to the script the text you name it but the text is easy it's very basic all you do follow this wait follow that format underscore desk for the description no underscore desk and description for the title see the difference yeah okay so uh, modifiers, again, if you want modifiers, uh, they are here. In fact, there's more than just modifiers. Uh, there's also commands, there's traits, state and province IDs. I got a lot of stuff um, right here in front of me. So what you could do is look these over. There's even examples to help you. Um, just take a good look at this page. It mess around if you want. Um, if you want to learn, that's fine. It's completely up to you. This video is only meant to help you. Give you guidance on basic coding. Now, I hope this helped, and have a good day.